I'm kind of reading the tea leaves just like anybody else, and I don't think anybody, you know, any research group or consultancy really knows where this whole thing is going, the Internet of Things, wearables, etc. And in fact, uh, as I was sharing with somebody this morning, when you think about it, technology is, because of the disruption and because there are so many accelerators and, and, and different companies kind of piling on top of each other, like, you know, parasites, it sounds like a bad word, but they're, they're actually growing on ideas. It's happening and proliferating so quickly, and our media is fragmenting so quickly, I think it's, it's, it's surpassing our ability to keep up with it as daily consumers, as a, you know, from a sociological perspective, from a cultural perspective. Who knows what happens when our refrigerators, our thermostats, as you know, Google just bought Nest, uh, and our cars, Everything is all connected. There are huge privacy concerns with that. And there are also big, big questions. Forgetting just the privacy issue of how marketers should or should they intrude upon those experiences? Do they have a role to play? And I think it really comes down to this basic principle. It doesn't matter what device, whether it's a desktop, a tower desktop, whether it's a, a, a laptop, a mobile phone, or a refrigerator, or a car. If you're not adding utility, providing some kind of value other than the value of pitching your product at that given moment, then you are in danger of uh, irking your customers and de de detracting from your brand rather than helping it. And I said that's probably one of the most important principles and it's really about you know, thinking about it in terms of how can we add value to the consumer above and beyond the actual product uh, or, or service attributes that we have.